This is Danny Lyon by Ryan Weeks. Danny Lyon was born in Brooklyn, New York on March 16, 1942. He went on to study history and philosophy at the University of Chicago where he graduated with a Bachelor of Arts degree in 1963. After graduation in 1963, he got a job as a photographer for the Student Nonviolent Coordinating Committee. During 1963, he got his first photographs published, where they ended up in The Movement, which is a book about the Southern Civil Rights Movement. He, after this, he later went on to publish his own books, first of them being called The Bike Riders. Danny Lyon, the photographer. So many of his photos were done in black and white, but they were very clear and very crisp. You could make great detail out of it, and you didn't miss the color at all. Uh, he did some in color, but most of them were in black and white. He was well known for his style of new journalism, which meant that he became so emerged in the culture or the club in which he was photographing that he would become a participant, and he even joined the Chicago Outlaw Motorcycle Club when photographing the bike riders. So he was a club member there for four years, and after he was done photographing it all, he left it. He uh, was very well involved in the civil rights movement, and he's also known for splicing his photos with text from many different sources, including some fiction books and uh, quotes from interviews. I really enjoyed his work. Uh, he really had a personal feel to it. You can feel the culture, feel how personable it was because he emerged himself so deep into it. And if I was a photographer, that's what I would do. I would that practice of new journalism. This is the first photo, and this is from his book called The Bike Riders. As you can see, the center of the photo is this man here covered in mud on his motorcycle. Uh, the light's very good. It's during daytime, you can make great detail with the cars and the other guys in the back. Uh, it's a very happy mood. You can see uh, they're playful, joyful, just playing around in the mud. Uh, what I like best about it is the mud all over, like his face, helmet, bike, clothes, everything. Just because it shows like how messy of a life being a biker can be. Photo 2 is also from the bike riders. And you, as you can see, the light's very well, and it's very clear, very crisp, black and white again. Uh, you can see the open road, but the center of it is the man on the motorcycle. He has all this freedom in front of him. There's no car in sight, but yet something behind him has his attention. So I feel like this mood is kind of neutral for go, going on sad, because he's, like, he's all alone looking back, seeing... If he, if he really is all alone, even though he has all the freedom in front of him. Photo 3 is a very somber photo. This biker is all by himself in the diner, black and white. No one seems to be around. Uh, it's very He's the center of the photo. He looks very dejected, very alone. Um, what I like best about this, though, it shows like even though he's part of the gang, he still has the can still feel lonely, still have this lonely life. Photo of four is also from the bike riders and it's probably the saddest photo. Uh, you see all the bike riders in their leather jackets. One of the gang member had died, so they're at his funeral. And when you look at the photo, you really only see the gang members with the leather jackets. You hardly see anybody in suits, so you can see this guy Maybe really didn't have a family, didn't have any many friends outside of the gang. So I feel like that was sad. The mood makes it sad. Uh, the light's very well in this as well. So it was during the daytime, so it's not missing the color of the photo. Uh, what I like best about it is how, like, even though it shows how lonely he is, it also shows how together he is with his bike members. Fifth photo is from his work in the civil rights movement and it's just a poster of a white policeman from Mississippi you can see on his shoulder there and it says is he protecting you so is he really protecting the blacks in the south uh, what I like best about it is it just makes you think like is he really protecting you is he really making you say it because it seems like he's protecting all the white men in the background 
Photo 6 is from also his work in the Civil Rights Movement. As you can see, it's really sad, these two girls in jail. But if you look closely at the one on the right, she seems to be smiling. So it seems like she's very proud of what she's doing, like the movement that they're doing and why she's in there. She believes in it enough that she's happy to be in jail because they're making, they're making their voice heard. Uh, what I like best about it is the girl smiling through it all. Even though she's having in jail, she's having her photograph taken, she's smiling, she's happy. Uh, the light's very good, it's daytime, so even in the dark cell, he's getting good lighting. And the last photo is also the civil rights movement, and you can see the man being uh, dismantled by the officers is actually a photo photographer of the Student Nonviolent Coordinating Committee, and he's just being detained during a nonviolent protest in the South. And you can see it's uh, nighttime, but Lion is still getting very good lighting on his on his shots. Uh, what I like most about it is it just shows like how the protesters are sitting down and they're being peaceful, but the officers are just ripping this guy apart.